If you guys have seen my my last video, a lot has happened since then. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, then you'll understand what has happened since then. So now I'm gonna try and explain a little bit about what has happened and what that video was about. So back in December of 2016, my, my brother informed us that he had cancer and I took it pretty hard, but we didn't, we didn't talk about it. We didn't make it public. We didn't realize how bad it was either, I don't think. It was stage four aggressive pretty much right off the bat. And he had a very rare kidney cancer. Um, when he told us this, he was he had just turned 27. And then throughout last year, 2017, he it got worse and worse and just he went downhill really fast started spending a lot of time in the hospital yeah. and luckily by the time yeah he was in and out of the hospital they were doing cancer treatments and radiation and the chemo unfortunately none of it worked and they they stopped it so you know fast forwarding you know we get to december of 2017 luckily he was home for christmas he wasn't able to travel so we went and spent boxing day I think it was Boxing Day. Boxing Day with him. And then in January, I got a phone call from my mom. Like, we, throughout the year, we'd go and visit him as much as we could in the hospital and at home. And then in January, I got a phone call from my mom that he was doing really bad and he was never coming home. And that he was going to spend the rest of his time in the hospital and eventually hospice. Okay. Let's take your time. So we continued to go and visit him. It was January. Mm -hmm. And he went and do hospice on February 1st or February 2nd? February 2nd. February 1st, I asked for mm. a couple days off. Yes. So I could go spend time with him. And this was actually the time of my last video. This is where we are just, now. This was, I released that. that video. And then a few days later, maybe a day or two later, I asked for a few days off the Friday and the Monday of that week. So, uh, so, so like I have a four day weekend so I could spend time with him and I can make a few phone calls so I could talk to somebody and try and get help just to deal with everything. Mm -hmm. So February 2nd, the kids went to school, me and Brandy, we went and spent a few hours with him, dropped him off, dropped off some, took, took some brand new, you know, family pictures that we just had done to him for his room, spent three or four hours with him. You know, he, we went outside for a short walk. He had a smoke and then. We went back and we, you know, said, okay, I'll see you later. I was let you rest because he was pretty exhausted. He was quiet. He was very quiet, which is fine. I knew he was because a few times when I've gone to visit him, he's been very quiet. And we just sat there and even just watched TV, mm -hmm. right? Just, just, just to have, just spend some time with him. So we had somebody there. So we, he wasn't alone. Mm -hmm. Sunday, my parents went and spent time with him. He went out, they, they went out a couple times, you know, he went out for a smoke when they got there and then when they left. And then on Sunday, I had planned with his wife, me and Brandy, we're gonna go see him Monday morning, mm -hmm. the 5th of February, we're gonna go see him and just spend time with him, me, Brandy, my brother, and his wife. And I should mention that he, he's 28 by that point because his birthday was in September. And then unfortunately, same day that we had planned, February 4th, the Sunday, a couple days after I saw him, we got a phone call that he's passed away. I miss him a lot. I really do. He meant a lot to me. I loved my brother a lot. And unfortunately he passed away from the cancer at 28. And it's been very, very hard to deal with and process this. A couple days ago, on Friday the 23rd, we had his funeral. And that was really, really hard to deal with this all over again. It's just been hard on everybody. Me, the family, my parents, my sister, the aunts and uncles, his wife and his little boy that he's left behind and his stepkids as well. It's been very, very, very hard for us to process everything, to be such a young age and pass away from cancer and lose, and just to lose them. Why I was talking about somebody close to me being sick in the last video. And unfortunately, a few days later, he had passed away from that video. I think I'm gonna just cut the video here. This is gonna be a long video if you've made it this far, because now we're gonna show a slideshow that we played at his service and this is mainly to show everybody that wasn't able to make it. There's a lot of people I know that wanted to be there and they couldn't be there. So here's the slideshow for my brother from the time he was born on September of 1989 to February of 
2018. Love you, James. I miss you. You call me out upon the waters The great unknown My feet may fail And there I find you in the mystery In oceans deep My faith will stand Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would come me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith would be me stronger In the presence of my Savior Of my 
Say